Hi everyone, my name is Shannon. Welcome to King Family Farm. I'm really happy to have you here today. I'm going to start some Pro Cut Sunflowers. And this is fairly controversial. Um, I've seen it a lot lately where some people are starting their sunflowers now and other people are like, it's way too early. They only can get direct sowed. I'm here to tell you, I start 400 sunflowers a week and I transplant them and they do just fine. Now, there's some issues with that. Um, there's a certain way to go about it. You don't want to start them in a four inch pot. You don't want to put out great big sunflowers that are on the verge of blooming because that's going to stress them. Um, now I am a cut flower grower, so I am growing pro cuts, which are a single stem variety. They are pollenless. That does not mean that they don't have nectar and they won't produce seed, but they are an F1 hybrid. So if you save the seed from them, you will not get, when you replant those seeds, you won't get the same um, product. They are, of course, a non-GMO because GMOs are not available to, to the public. Um, so that's what we grow. I buy most of my sunflowers are the Pro Cut Orange. Um, I buy them from Vessies, um, because at this point, by the thousand, it's the cheapest place. Johnny Seed in Maine has them, um, and if you're in the U.S. and you're not paying exchange and shipping and all of that kind of, you know, taxes when they come into Canada, um, Johnny's has a much better price. But for me, by the time I pay the exchange, the shipping, possible taxes at the border, depending on... CVSA and whether they feel like it because you never know um it's worth it for me to buy from Vessies I've never had a problem with their seeds I do buy them by the thousand this time they came in um, small packages which is fine doesn't bother me um I have bought them from I'm trying to get my big package here yeah. I have bought them from Geoseed and they come in this great big pack by the thousand. Geoseed's not bad for pricing. Again, if you're in the US, that's where I would get them, um, there or Johnny's. However, again, with the exchange, it's not really worth it for me. So I like to start my sunflowers in a 128 cell tray. And I'm, you can see these are, I'm getting ready for new trays. I've had these trays for quite a while. Um, these particular trays I picked up at William Dam, they're not as tough as I would like. I think the next ones I get, I'm actually probably going to order some today because these have about had it. I'm going to look at some bootstrap farmer ones, which is what my 72s and my 50 cell trays are. And they are much tougher than these. These are just too thin for, um, the amount of use that these get. So. This method will work for branching sunflowers or in your home garden or what you're growing. I'm just showing you what I do for commercial production. Again, I start a few hundred a week um, and then I start transplanting them. When they're about two to three weeks old, you're gonna plant them. Um, they're gonna spread up. I've got a couple of trays that I planted last week and they're already up. And in another week and a half, they're going to go out in the garden before my last frost. Sunflowers are fairly hardy. If you harden them off and you put them under a little bit of cover, um, like a frost cloth or something like that, just to give them that little extra protection from the wind, um, which is really hard on new seedlings and from the birds which is the other reason I start them indoors. Um, by the time I plant them out, they have their first true leaves and they are much less interesting to the crows. If I direct seed them, um, I lose half my seeds to the birds because as soon as they sprout, the birds are like, oh, that's tasty, or the mice take off with them. So if I transplant them, they, I, do, I get much, I get to keep them all. So, and pro cuts are, um, because they're an F1 hybrids, they are a little more expensive than just a regular sunflower seed or an heirloom. Um, but like I said, this method works just fine for uh, heirlooms. So what I've got here is potting soil with a quarter compost. We filled the tray up 
and we haven't pressed it in too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay all the seeds out and then we're going to push them down in and then when we water it, the soil will cover it over a little bit. So what you're looking for when you go to transplant them is that you can pick up the seedling by the stem and the whole plug comes out. So when the root ball holds together, it's time to plant them out. And they're only going to have one set of true leaves. They're really quite small. They're only going to be a couple inches high. Like they're, they're really not very big. So that helps them deal with the transplant shock as well because they're not super big. They're not really bound too tightly into the, into the cell. Um, so that really works for us. So this, again, this is a 128 cell tray. That's my preferred size. We are going to do Pro Cut Orange and I'm looking for two packs that I've already opened, which is this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them on top and, uh, and then I'll go back and push them all down because sometimes I never remember where I'm at and it's just faster that way. So, uh, like I said, I grow a large number of these. Um, I plant them weekly because again, the pro cuts are a single stem variety. I think the sun rich ones are also single stem. Yeah, sun rich because I've grown the limoncello, which is a really, uh, it's, it's more of a softer butter yellow. It's really quite pretty. Um, but the pro cut orange is really the, the preferred sunflower of florists. It's the one that looks like all the pictures, right? Dark center, lots of orange petals, and that's what they look like. And uh, when I go to plant these out, I will of course show you uh, the stage. I do have another video of where I'm planting them out and it's from last summer. Um, but these ones, I will show you when I go to plant them out, what they look like. Just, there we go. goes pretty quickly so but today it is just it is cold it is windy it's raining it is so not nice out there so I'm gonna start seeds and pretend it's summer and uh, this is a good project to do today normally I would do these on a Sunday but yesterday I it was nicer weather so I did a few things outside knowing that it was going to rain today um, I have it on my calendar on the wall there that I showed you everybody how I, how I set that up, that I do in fact start these every Sunday. Um, they don't take a huge amount of time to do. So now these will get planted out um, at six inches. You could tighten that up to four inches. Your blooms will be a little smaller. If you plant sunflowers at a uh, one foot interval, the blooms are really big and they're not usable for cut flowers. So that's one of the reasons why um, I plant them at six inch spacing. Um, same as I use with my garlic, I use the flower net and that's how I make that work. Um, all right, so I'm just going to go along and push these in. Um, what else? So the other thing with the Pro Cuts is these are not daylight sensitive, um, like the number of daylight hours. So they will bloom in 60 days from seeding, not from transplant from seeding approximately is pretty, pretty accurate, which is why I start some every week because I'm going to cut them and pull them and that'll be the end of them. Um, so I count back, I would probably plant these until mid August because as your days get shorter and colder, they do take just a little bit longer to get going, um, and to be ready to harvest. Um, 
so they're not daylight sensitive, whereas some most of your heirloom varieties are daylight sensitive, so it doesn't matter when you plant them, they're all going to bloom at the same time. Um, so if you're looking to have, um, <coughs> pardon me, sunflowers for a wedding, um, these are the ones you want. And the main reason is because they're pollenless, and nobody wants a bunch of yellow pollen down their white wedding gown or on their white tablecloth. So that is why we grow these pro cuts. They've been developed for the cut flower trade. Um, and they're just a really great sunflower. And that's it. And I'm going to figure out what I did with my roll of tape. No idea. Um, but we're going to label this. And yeah, I have no idea what I did with that. I had it. It was right here. Now it's gone. Um, we're going to label this with Pro Cut Orange and today's date because I'm going to have a whole bunch of successions of these kind of going at the same time and I want to make sure I'm putting them in the ground in the order in which I started them. So these are Pro Cut Orange and today's date is 5th of May. May guys. First day of May. It's here. It's exciting. Summer's coming. So if you want to have sunflowers and bring summer inside just a little bit earlier, start them. Use the pro cuts. Um, but start them indoors. Plant them out when they're two to three weeks old. You don't want them to be very big because you really don't want to disturb the roots. That is true. They don't particularly enjoy being transplanted. But this stage is just fine. So these are the trays I started last week. And you can see they're just starting to come up. And they're looking pretty good. And I'm actually probably going to put these outside and let them finish um, coming up. I'm going to protect them from the birds, but put them outside so they're okay. Um, with the cooler weather, but still protect them from the frost. And that's kind of it. So this is last week's tray. Um, these are seven days old. No, eight days today. So, and that's it, guys. Guys, it's really, really easy to start these sunflowers. Like I said, you're only going to keep them in this tray for two, two and a half weeks, three at the most. Okay? Um, they're not as cold sensitive as people think they are. They will tolerate a bit of cold. They won't really enjoy frost on their, on their leaves. They're fine in the fall with frost, like a light frost. But in the spring when they're getting started, it's better to have like a frost cloth on them. And then what you're looking to do is get them started a little bit earlier and you can get them out there. Um, but if you plant them every week, starting 60 days from your first seeding, you will have sunflowers every week blooming. Um, and they're just fantastic. I love sunflowers. They're, they're my favorite. Um, they're just the greatest thing ever. So thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you here next time on the farm.